All right, y'all, I got this idea in my head. I don't know how this is, is about to turn out, but I'm going to roast these tomatoes. So I just got some tomatoes that I don't want to spoil on me, so I'm gonna roast them. Char them in this cast iron skillet. That's what I'm doing. Charring them. And then I got some coconut cream. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I really honestly don't know how this is about to go down, but it's about to go down. I don't know. We finna see. So the first thing you want to do is roast these, and you don't want to use your hand like I'm doing, because y'all already know I'm just always out here doing some wild stuff. It's what I do. Get that going. I'm going to grab some sriracha because I want it spicy. Right? Y'all don't know if this make my stomach hurt or not. <laughs> yeah, we about to see. Heavenly Father, thank you for using me. <laughs> To create these things that you put in my mind to bring into fruition. And I want to thank you for healing all of those that are stricken with the spirit of infirmity. And I want to say a special prayer for my pastor. Whew! Honey. I pray healing over his situation and him in the mighty name of Jesus. And there we go. And I want to thank you for healing Bobby Joe, my dad of pneumonia and I pray he continue on his path of healing in Jesus name amen alright y'all so we charring these puppies now as y'all watching the show we don't really know how long it's going to take now do we alright while we charring these we got our grease heating up because we're going to fry a couple of pieces of catfish that's what we're going to do and um, y'all already know how to fry catfish. Soak it in mustard, right? So it can take out that um, swamp water flavor. Cause don't nobody have time for that. Then you get you a little of that uh, fish fry. This is my favorite. Oh, didn't mean to put it in there with the tomatoes, but it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. All right, so I'm gonna use a whole bag. Actually, I really just need half a bag. So, be honest with you. Let's not be wasteful. Let's go ahead and put that up. Y'all see that skill is that it's hot, ain't it, baby? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Pouring our tomatoes. And you gotta have a skillet that's dry. A nice cast iron skillet that's dry. There we go. And I can put these fillets in here. And I got some fish fry for next time. Y'all know I'm all about conserving and preserving, baby. There you go. Get it covered. In the meantime, in between time, we're going to roll them around a little bit. They're almost black as we want them, or rather charred as we want them to be. The reason not that hot yet. So that's what we waiting on, our grease to heat up. While they're still charring, I'm going to grab some ginger and some garlic just so I can have some more uh, seasoning in there. And then I got a little onion. Ain't nothing wrong with a little onion, huh? So I'm going to put some onion in there. And then I have some asparagus that needs uh, to be eaten up. So we're going to cut those up. And use the same pan. Go so just like that. All right, so we can go ahead and remove these tomatoes from this pan. 
Yeah, I know this is not that, the wisest thing. I should have grabbed a spoon, but I didn't. We're going to roll with this. It'll charm a little bit more, huh? Fucking like black. And I'm black, girl. Because we're going to end up putting them back in here anyway. Sorry for the scraping. Alright. So we got all them out. Our grease is hot. I'm going to put in a little olive oil. Turn this skillet down some. I already got some rice cooking in my rice cooker. Let's go ahead and add our onion. And if you want, you can do bell pepper too. It's up to you. But I'm telling y'all, this is a freestyle recipe. Honey, when I say freestyle, I'm hungry. And uh, this coming off the top of the dome, honey. So I'm praying it's going to be delicious. But we all finna see the day, ain't we? We all about to see the day. I didn't use a whole lot of onion because I didn't want to cut up a whole lot of onion. So there we go. We got our onion in there. Got a little minced garlic. This child don't measure nothing out. No, just pour it out the thing, honey. Use your, use your kitchen spoon. This is what you do. Use your kitchen spoon, honey. And I got a little ginger. This is ginger paste. I'm going to put a little dab of that in there. Give me a little flavor, right? Mix that up. Then I got some horseradish sauce. I'm telling y'all, I want this to have like a nice kick. This actually smells really well. It actually smells really good, to be honest with you. All right, so let me get my fish all battered up. Ready to go in this stuff. over here. Yeah, I just want to make sure the whole the entire fish got some type of breading on it. See? <laughs> I'm going to pop that in there. Let it go for a bath. Nice little bath. And yup, that grease hit my finger and it did not even burn. Thank God. That's a hallelujah moment for sure there. Alright, so I done got this all nice and burnt. <laughs> Let's throw our tomatoes back in there. This is our couture. All right, let's go ahead and get this in. This is coconut cream. So of course I'm gonna have to use a little bit of that. <laughs> it smells good, y'all. Let's get that in there. There we go. Put a little water into the can. Mix that around real good. Put that in there. Smells good. Alright, so I'm going to put a little sriracha. A little, just a little. 
<laughs> it's gonna be super spicy. Woo! Yes, it is, honey. I'm gonna crank up my heat. Gonna put a little horse ready sauce in there. Just a little. <laughs> Mix that in there with the way up. Life isn't life unless you put just a little bit more ginger in there. A little bit of that in there. Then I want it to thicken up just a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of cornstarch. And I'm talking like super tiny. Maybe a third of a teaspoon. They look more like a four. But go as small as you can. Alright. And then we're going to get that off of here. And we're going to mix it in real good. Just like that. And we're going to stir because we want everything to be smooth. I'm going to add in a little bit more water. Just a tiny bit. Get that stirred in real good. And then we need to make sure our fish is swimming right, uh, really well. Yep, doing a good job. I'm making a mess. I have a mess literally everywhere. How y'all doing today? How your mama and them, your daddy and them, your auntie and them, your uncle and them, your cousin and them? All us. How all us doing? I got a uh, confession, y'all. My stomach ain't liking gluten no more. And that's on the serious tip. I might. Like, I did a little test run to see today if I would get, if my stomach would hurt. And, uh, yeah. So, it's not liking the gluten. We, uh, so, we're going to have to change up our diet a little bit we sure are because i love me some steaks honey and i'm gonna take care of her all right now it's getting thick like we want it to all right i'm gonna go ahead and put on my asparagus because the fish is about ready to come out so i'm gonna put a little olive oil in the pan It smells sweet, y'all. It got a, like, um, you can smell a little bit of the coconut, but you can also smell the sriracha. And the ginger. You might like, really smell it. I'm going to give it a nice little taste. Let you know if it's a yay or nay. It's not a nay. It tastes different. I've never had anything like it. Put a little bit more water in there. Then I'm going to add my favorite seasoning. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Takes it over the edge. If you have not gotten you any, go on over there. Bo-Rays. CQ. Dot com. Our fish is ready. Turn it off. Done ready to come 
out. Grab me some asparagus. Wash them off. And we're going to cut. Look. <laughs> Y'all know I need more counter space, right? So anyway, I'm gonna cut these asparagus. Just the tips, that's all. And then I'm gonna toss that over there in the pan. That's all I had to do with that. All right, get this a nice stir. While they cooking, I use this on the asparagus and that's all i do this just that olive oil and the asparagus in the pan and let them um roast all right let's get this another try oh wow i like it I really honestly like it. It has a nice kick, but it'll hit you like it'll hit you in the middle part of your tongue. And then down your when it's going down your throat, it's spicy and then it just goes away. And that that's uh contributed to the coconut coconut cream. The sriracha give you the heat, but that it that cream it kind of mellows it out. So I want my sauce to Ball back down to some thickness. I'm gonna go ahead and mash the tomatoes. Mash, mash, however you wanna see. All right, I'm gonna smash them just a little bit. I'm a nice little smash. This is what cooking is, guys. Just coming up with stuff. When when the spirit realm talks to you and say, get in there and do this, that, and another, just do it. You don't know what you're about to come into. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. That is delicious. Uh, Y'all, we got to add a little bit of this. Why? Because the spirit realm say, hook it up. Put a little bit of that in there, girl. Just a little curve. Oh, it smells good too. It smells a little sweet but savory. It's I'm telling y'all. I want y'all to try it. I want y'all to try it and tell me what you think. She said. Wow. We need it. We need it thick. It's getting there. It's not there yet. That's that's really good. It's really good. All right. So the last thing they look, I hear the spirit realm speaking saying, add just a little touch of that. That's got to take it over the top. Just a little touch. So if I was to measure that and say it was, uh, I would say about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm excited. I wish y'all could smell these, like for real. When you get to smell it, I wish you could taste it because it tastes delicious. Let me know somebody like, now you're going to be using that same spoon. Baby, ain't nobody <clears throat> eating but me. So, nah. <laughs> Alright, if you wanted to see the catfish up close, there you go. See? Beautiful, huh? Yeah, I know. I know. Alright, let me fix my fish up. Late, huh? That's what we about to do. So the first thing I'm going to grab 
my sauce is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. It is ready. But my asparagus is not. And then I'm keep roasting. Y'all know how we do when we fix our plate, honey. We make it pretty as possible. Right? So we got our cup of rice. Then I like to mash down into the actual cup. <laughs> then I want to place it here on the plate. Nice and pretty. No! It didn't do right. We got to do over. Because it did not do right. And this is jasmine rice. It sticks together a whole lot better than the parboiled rice does. So... That's why I'm using it for plating purposes and to eat. And a little bit of rice uh, scattered over the plate ain't gonna hurt nobody. Mm, it's delicious. Alright. So, I did put it on the edge, but it didn't stay. So, we're gonna do it like that in the center. We're gonna take a piece of the catfish, do it just like that. Wish you would just stay, but you're not, so I'm not gonna argue with y'all. That fair just is almost ready. Seriously. And go ahead and take this. And you can use heavy whipping cream too if that's something that you wanted to do, but this we use coconut cream. Oh my God, y'all. I'm gonna drip a little over onto the catfish. You see this? Just like that, right? And then, because they ready, Do that right there. Right there. Eh, yeah, not gonna argue with it. But anyway, there you go, babies. Something quick and easy and delicious. I must add that part. The freaking delicious. What we're gonna call it? Smothered fried catfish? Something like that. Alright. I know y'all didn't get to see my pretty face. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all. Like, girl, you dropped a video yesterday. So, so, so we drop another today. <laughs> y'all know I had to be silly for at least one minute. I'm telling y'all, my stomach been tripping because it is not like any gluten. Alright, so let me take some pictures and dig in, tell y'all what this is tasting like. Give me one second. Alright, so I know you wanted to see me taste it. Let me tell y'all. I had started tasting it before y'all I went um back live. I mean got back on this camera, as you could tell. It's delicious. Like I wouldn't take nothing out. I put nothing else in. Follow it. Do the thing. And use jasmine rice. So you can get the full experience. This is so darn gone good. Alright, y'all. I hope y'all hit that subscribe button, the like button, the share. All of that. Yeah, that's my favorite show in the background Grace and Frankie. That's my show. <laughs> but get you some smothered fried catfish. Yeah, you're going to want to get that. I can sell this for $20 a plate. It's worth it, for real. Like my taste buds is going on the experience of a lifetime. 
Oh my God. I can't stop chewing. I want to talk to y'all, but I can't stop. So I'm going to have to let y'all go. Love you.